Hey y'all, it's Jen for the Love of Iris. Welcome to the 30th day of Halloween. This is another one of our 31 days of Halloween videos. We are almost through. Um, it's bittersweet. This probably is my favorite project. These, look at these earrings. How cute are they? <laughs> these are the cookie cutter Halloween vampire Dracula men. Oh, I love them. Um, and I have used the shrink paper. How many of y'all remember Shrinky Dinks? Oh my gosh, I loved Shrinky Dinks. And I saw this, I think it was on one of the demonstrator Facebook pages where some ladies had been using the um, Christmas ones, I think, to make some jewelry and stuff. And I had to do it. So I ran out and went and grabbed some shrink paper. You can order it anywhere. Um, Amazon, eBay. I actually went to uh, my local Michaels and got it there. A Michaels Hobby Lobby. Mine came in a kit and it was like a kid's kit. Uh, and I'll show you actually so you can see. Uh, it was one of these deals. Shrink art thing. Um, and it, it, it looks like it's already done, but it's not. It just, it comes with eight pieces of the shrink paper. Because I, I ordered some on Amazon, but it wouldn't be here in time for me to film this video. So I was like, well, crap, what am I going to do? So I ran down to Michael's and I grabbed this shrink art thing. And it was like six bucks and I had a coupon. So it was, you know, three bucks or something. Score. Um, and one sheet of the shrink plastic. Let me show you how it comes. So you'll see. They come like this. So it is five by eight. And one sheet of shrink plastic will get you uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight little people. So four sets of earrings for one sheet of plastic. And you got another six or eight in that little box. But anyway, so stinking cute. Just cannot stand it. Just cannot stand it. So um, we're going to do the mummies because I freaking love the mummies. Um, you are going to need shrink plastic, cookie cutter, Halloween, uh, stays on, a heat tool, paper piercer, and then some type of jewelry, whatever you want to use. I'm going to use just these little hook things and some um, jump rings, just the, the hook earrings, I guess is what they're called, and some two jump rings, or one jump ring rather, sorry, one. Um, and they're so simple. And they're fun, and I love it, and they're fun. They're so fun. Okay, and you need your punch. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm sorry. Here I go, here I go. <laughs> I can't stop, I just love it. All right, get your stays on. And ink up your stamp. Ink it up really well. Now there's two sides to this. There is a matte side and a glossy side. You want the matte side up. All right, matte side up. Get your stays on, ink up your stamp really well, and always with stamping on stays on to a non-porous surface, make sure that you stamp it as straight and even and non-moving as possible. So straight down, stamp and hold, try not to move, try not to wiggle, and straight up. Nice! You'd have thought I planned that. All right, brilliant. Okay, let's put our stays on away before I make a hot mess of everything. Okay, now take your punch. Um, oops, I'm not gonna be able to do this without cutting it. I'm sorry, take my snips, because I use this for my other one. I've already done one so I can make a set. Take your punch. Ooh, I didn't think this through all the way, did I? I'm not gonna be able to get this in there, am I? Let's see. Am I going to be able to do this? Probably not. Let's see. Okay, since I didn't think this through, I am sticking this on a post-it note so I have a little bit better handle on it. I'm just going to punch this through. Now, it is very thick, but it will go. Let me take this piece of post-it note off. He 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 he. Okay. Now I need to punch a hole in his head. <laughs> it's very. 
very Halloween-ish. I'm just taking my crocodile and punch a hole there in his little head. Okay, now we need to bring in a cutting board or a heating pad or something. This is an old cutting board that I have and your heat tool and your paper piercer and let your heat tool heat up. You want to get the, now you want to flip it and make sure that you have the shiny side up. Okay. Turn your heat tool on. Get it nice and hot and then you want to heat him. Watch how he does. He's going to get so funny. Yeah. Just keep holding on to him so he doesn't go flying everywhere. And he's going to get all crinkly, but it's okay because he's going to straighten out here in just a second. Just take your paper piercer out and stick an acrylic block on him to keep him straight. He's so sweet. Okay. Now once he's straight and all cut out and heated and tiny, all you have to do now is add your little charms. So here's one little jump ring and just feed it through the hole and you can do whatever you want with this. You can make it a cell phone charm, you can turn it into a uh, trinket for a card, you could do whatever you want because they turn so tiny. Okay, and then let's put this on here, close this up, oops. Close this jump ring up. Oh, come on. It's being fiddly. Boy, I can't get this one to close, can I? I'm being a sucker. There we go. Got it now. <laughs> He's sweet. <laughs> and I made another one right here. And I just did a um, little piece of paper. Punched a couple holes in it. Stuck a little bit of designer series paper on the bottom. Threw it in a Ziploc bag. like so tuck it in look how cute that is you could have this for a craft fair or you could give that to a friend or co-worker anything aren't they sweet look at these guys ah, love them hope y'all are enjoying this series hope y'all love this project and i will see you next time bye